It's the worst thing to get is the I'm sorry letter from the NFL. Hey, thanks for nothing, and I'm going to double bird you right back. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you got to be kidding me with these guys, right? Oh. I mean, I, look, I understand they're doing their due diligence. I, under, I get that, blah, 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 yada, yada, ad infinitum in perpetuity, yada, yada, yada. That's not the reason they lost the game. They lost the game because they made a lot of critical dis- uh, yeah. choice. By the way, Chris Sims for NBC did a great job breaking down the Cowboys Patriots film, and to the point where you know we're talking about coaching, he put up five examples of where the the uh, the Patriots had one defensive lineman on the field, and they chose to throw it in every one of those scenarios. It's like you have one defensive lineman on the field. Zeke Elliott is working. Hand mm. off the football against the best secondary in all of the sport instead of trying to jam what you think into what you should be doing. Yeah, I mean, first year offensive coordinator, right? Yes. Like there are certain times this year where we look at Kellen Moore and it's all the things that we did expect from a guy who was going to add some new wrinkles to this offense. And then at times it's a guy that's still learning to be a play caller in this league. And so those are the growing pains you're going to have to go through. You just had to unfortunately go through them against the best secondary in pro football. Yeah. So so now we've got the Cowboys on a short week trying to get everything going. And again, uh, Jerry Jones came out uh, later yesterday and said, there will be no immediate changes. Thanks, Jerry. You I didn't already, think there was ever going to no, be No, but you've already change. lit the world on he fire. Has, so yeah. by, by doing that, it really doesn't do anything. It just gives people more talking points. Well, what do you mean? Not right now. What are you talking about? Oh, What's that's going exactly on? what it does. It makes yeah. everybody go in with a microphone and ask everybody else. Yeah. Jerry Jones yeah. right now is doing the one thing you hate as a teammate. He's he's starting to fire that somebody yeah, else has to somebody put else out. Somebody else has to put right? out. And, that is the worst thing you can do. And listen, losing to New England in New England is, is I mean. Everybody is, does it. So now they're at home against Buffalo, a team with only three losses. This would be one of those. If Jerry came out after, if they lost to Buffalo and said this, yeah. I could understand it a little more. Hey, if we're going to get where we want to go, we got to beat some of the better teams. And whether people want to buy into it or not, Buffalo only has three losses this year. But going to New England and beating New England, nobody does. So that's the game you choose to say exactly. how disappointed you are? In a monsoon. Yeah. Like, yeah. you had everything working against you. New England playing eternal home games, as Mina Kimes pointed out the other day. I don't know if New England's ever played a road game. I feel like they just exist at home in that rainstorm, burying your hopes and dreams. If they beat Buffalo, they will have beaten a winning team. And For the first time this year. First time this year, and people's like, yeah, but it's Buffalo. You know, you know, oh, I mean, they'll that, never you know that's oh, what's yeah, coming. Yeah, but, but you they, know that's what's they coming. They need to do it. They need to. They need to <laughs> if do they, it. If they don't beat Buffalo, the Cowboys may not win the division. Yeah. I don't, oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, uh, depending. Uh, depend, they got to they play the Bears. They play the Bears. They play the Rams, the Eagles, and Washington. They, they, yeah. If they lose this game, that, that Eagles game December 22nd, the media be could be behind it. It will yeah. be everything. Yeah. The it Bills everything. game and the Eagles' ability to potentially get healthy. Yeah. Yep. That's the difference. Like how yep. many guys the Eagles can get back down this stretch. Uh, listen, it, it, it'll be fascinating. And by the way, we're all sleeping on one thing we're not talking about on the Thursday night game between the Cowboys and the Bills. It is a Cole Beasley revenge game. Well, it, ooh, it is the Cole man. Beasley revenge game. Welcome to my DraftKings team. <laughs> exactly. But it's like this is why Jerry as an owner, as a GM, makes a tremendous owner. Like the one time you shouldn't be doing this is, as you said, after a loss at home to the Patriots. They've won 18 yeah. straight at home. They've won 21 straight if you include the postseason, and you have a short week to get ready for a team, a game you absolutely have to win. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.